Yo, what's up, Patrol Man? I hope you guys are doing good. Have, hope you guys had a good day, night, depending on what time you're watching this. And uh, yeah, just overall, I hope you guys are doing good. In today's video, I'm here talking about. Whoa, I did that pretty crispy, huh? No stuttering today. Today's video, I'm here talking about OKC's biggest problem in my mind. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> We all know from the past few NBA seasons that the three-point line and three-point shooting has been a major it's offensive focus when it comes to success in the NBA. Without a couple three-point shooters in your NBA lineup, starting lineup, please, you're more than likely not going to find much success, if any. Now, we all know that Russell Westbrook's strong point is slashing, driving, mid-range game, and he's not a three-point shooter. Three-point shooting is not his strong point, all right? But now instead of adding Victor Oladipo, having Victor Oladipo, well, now they have Paul George, which is an even better three-point shooter. Just, just a better player overall, better shooter overall than Victor Oladipo as well. Don't act like you just a stutter boy. Okay, she's protected starting lineup is Russell Westbrook at the one, Andre Oberson, Paul George, Patrick Patterson when he's healthy, and then Stephen Adams. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a good starting lineup, all right, but. The only problem that I have with the starting lineup is Andre Roberson. We all know that Andre Roberson is not a shooter, all right? This man can't even shoot free throws. <laughs> Bitch. This is one of the lowest free throw shooting percentages, all right? And again, and also, he cannot shoot threes, which is the main focus of this video. Andre Roberson cannot shoot threes. Westbrook, he can shoot threes, but this is not his strong point. Westbrook cannot play off of Andre Roberson as well and as efficiently, all right, because Roberson, he's not that good of a three-point shooter. Westbrook, he needs a three-point shooter. That That's what fits his play style well, all right? His style of play does not make Russell Westbrook's day on offense any better. Now, whoa, before you go spread some hate in the comments right now, yes, I'm talking to you. Andre Roberson fan, OKC fan, I understand that Andre Roberson, he's a terrific defensive talent, all right? He has a real special talent over there. But there's a point where you have to realize that this man is not helping Westbrook offensively at all. And he's just a, he's just a hole offensively. And every NBA team, once you see Andre Robeson in the starting lineup alongside Russell Westbrook, you have a simple, you have a simple, basic game plan, all right? Double team Westbrook, sag off of Robeson. Simple. And you're, and you're most likely, more than likely, have a higher chance of winning the game if Westbrook doesn't go off regardless. That is the game plan of most NBA teams. Look at most NBA games. Whenever Westbrook is being double teamed, it's most likely Andre, Andre Roberson's man double teaming, helping double team Westbrook. And once Westbrook is double teamed, he more than likely creates bad decisions, all right? And in my opinion, for OKC to see Westbrook at his full potential at being efficient, actually efficient when it comes to shooting and not, make, not creating as much turnovers is sliding in a instead of Andre Roberson at the two sliding in someone like Alex Abrinas that rookie that they had last year he was a really good three-point shooter he shot 37 percent which is very good in NBA all right they could either slide in Alex Abrinas or Terrence Ferguson overall they just need someone who can shoot at the two and not Andre Roberson Andre Roberson should be your last option when it comes to pairing up him pairing up Russell Westbrook and him in the backcourt Unless you, you are trying to create a last second defensive stop, then that's fine. By all means, do that. And I understand the saying, defense wins championships. Yes, that is true, but it doesn't win championships when you have a walking hole offensively. Thank you. Andre Robertson, he only helps Russell Westbrook on one side of the floor. He doesn't aid him on both, all right? If anything, he makes his job way harder because... Roberson, he's a he's kind of a slasher. Dude. He's really good at slashing and going into the paint for easy layups. Now here's where Alex Abrinas comes in. He is a rookie who shot 37% from the three-point line. All right, and he's a really good three-point shooter. He has a good stroke and everything, and he can help. He can actually play off of Russell Westbrook and this not have their offense tough. looking really scrappy and rough. He can aid that, and he can spread. He can help spread the floor for Paul George and. Russell Westbrook. The opposing team, all they're going to do is help off of their man and go and double team Paul George or Russell Westbrook, depending on who's on the floor. And also, Alex Sabrinas, he's not a god awful defender, too. He's a decent, he's an okay defender. He, can, he will get better as his career continues. The more experience he gets, the better he gets on defense, all right? And also, for Andre Roberson, he can. He can actually have value when he's on the bench because on the bench, on OKC's bench, you have a lot of weak defensive players like Raymond Felton, 
Doug McDermott and Ennis Kander. He can help those guys when it comes to defense. Starting Alex Abrinas at the two just makes way too much sense to not do and putting Andre Roberson at the bench just makes way too much sense to not do. So overall, it's a plus plus whatever way you look at it. And just a quick mention on this again, Andre Roberson, he, most teams, like Houston Rock, for example, exploited the fact that Andre Roberson cannot shoot free throws at all. Last year in the playoff series, like OKC versus Rockets, this man Roberson shot three for 21, all right? Out of 21 free throws, he only made three. <laughs> wow. You have no you have no idea how many times I've cringed when I've seen Andre Roberson shoot that nasty ass free throw for him. Oh dunkers. Until he can at least figure out to shoot threes. I'd say okay see coach whoever's making these moves. You place Andre Roberson on the bench and you start Alex Arenas and then you'll see your win total go up. Alright, this is the end of the video. I just I did this video. I just I did this This is a Juki Beach production. This is a video in a little different way. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and uh yeah. Andre Robinson, you trash as f ah! <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Oh don't Chris. You're not trash, but you need to be on the bench, my guy. Alright. And uh yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below and uh get right with you.